Uh, when we have designed the page on simple frame, where we had the menu.html and code.html, we were actually dividing the frame by columns, that is 20% here and then the star for the other one. Now, it requires hard coded, right? Now, what if you have to include this, you have to type again frame, do frames, do frames. So the basic way is to actually create an include file and let the server do it for you, right? So I'm going to show you actually how to do it. You go and save the menu.html, file save as, dot inc. This is created as an include file. An include file will be used to actually create the next content. Obviously you will need the body and then you will need the include file. Now how do you actually include the file inside this one? Let's say we are inside the card.html and we want to actually include it here that is uh, the menu content that is a table to, for our link etc right so what we do we just come here and do hash include file and you just put menu dot inc to actually include the file now what yes in your menu dot inc file you remove the required html tag title tag etc it's not required and save it as a dot inc and call dot html let's say we're including this file because we, we will be using it as many times we want that's why we are including it now since it is a server side you need to go to your my computer hard XC, or any drive where your hard disk is found open folder exam go to hc docs you create a folder you paste in all your required content there and this file where you have included should be uh, save as shtml right this is how i have actually opened it you go to like this let me show you you go to http column slash slash localhost slash cars you will get your required list from it you click card shtml so this dot inc file has already been included if you open it without a server it will not work because it should be server side include right since it is server side include you need a server and we're using apache exam for it right so this is a very simple content concerning uh, uh, shtml and server side include uh, in the next part of this session we're going to take a look about how to actually generate forms using HTML right so to generate form using HTML we use first of all some of the required tag to you to define HTML to be able to use HTML you will use one content that is known as the form tag in between the form tag here I'm going to emphasize on the method and the required way to do things along method and then action when a user submit a form it needs to go somewhere to be processed so this page where it is processed is known as an action and we have two types of method which is known as the get method and the post method the get method is specified that when we submit this form this data will travel through the URL and the post method tells us that when data will be traveled it will be traveled using the URL uh, not through the URL but hidden way right so using form it's better to translate using post because the user has important information like username password etc which will be generated right to generate uh, actually a form let's do it inside a table where actually we're generating a form to uh, put in the required content right so first of all I'm going to show you actually how to use the different control the first kind of control that we use is input type is equal to text which is used to actually generate a, a text box this can be given a name let's say name is a uh, my name because we're going to see later on when this is sent to the server uh, that is uh, to the server it will have to create something out of it but I'm not going to do a uh, user server for now I'm going to use basics 
uh, HTML so register dot HTML which is used to register content now again don't forget your body tag here it's not a frame tag so it's very important for you to take this into consideration right so we have this where we have action and then there right so you have name you can have surname again you have to put a breakdown you can include this inside table where you do this is as the first TD tag and this is as the second TD tag but I'm, I'm not going to take into consideration this for now okay so first type is an input type is equal to text box a text box that is actually generated right let's go and actually open register is it register page I think I have wrongly saved it register.html right so it's going to be found let's open it directly from this one so actually you can drag a file directly here right so we have a te text box that has been generated right now let's take a look about generating password right we can put a generate password uh, control that is this is called a control you will see it is actually hidden how I have put it as hidden instead of putting text I just put it as password so actually it will hide everything right so the next type of control that most of you uh, would like to know is about a text area so let me show you how you can put this text area basically whenever you're creating a control that is whether a type uh, text or type password you always give it a name and ID because this is, this is basic so later on you will have to use JavaScript and PHP Ajax to do much more processing with it right so you can give same name and same ID doesn't matter but up to you understand what is happening okay okay so this is about uh, getting this now you can put a text I'm going to show you radio button okay a text area takes actually the number of calls to do the required job so let's say seven calls and rows as seven right now whatever you want to put here right in between this will be appearing there let's save it here you refer to the page uh, let's put a break tag here just to change the line of the page we're going to have this text box actually generated you can actually increase its size decrease its size or whatever doesn't matter okay so this is about creating a text box uh, now about the combo box your option you use the select tag to do the job for you select tag you can give it a name sell a required option for it you can give it a value right so normally this value over here is not taken like go like catch uh, don't expect actually when we send this value to the server right it will catch this value over here no the value should be specified here right so this is our select tag that has been generated that is our combo box right so you have the different type of option that you have you can select from them right the next part I'm going to show you let's say we're taking the sex of the person right so input type is equal to radio name is equal to all of them must have same name but you can put different value 
value 1 name is equal to Right, so you do this along on the way. Right, uh, now guys, I'm going to show you something. If we put different name for the radio button, it's actually going to generate something for us. That is going to actually generate this tag, most probably. But just take a look. If the person select male and now say, no, I'm female, right? So when you click, both of them appear. So the main reason is you should have same name. That is, begin it belongs to the same category, right? Now, if you refresh the page, it's going to give you this. Now, something more interesting I wanted to show you uh, before actually our course in basic HTML go with this. So you can actually click on the setting. You do tools and you do view source you'll have all the code that is actually written here right that we have written here so you can anytime browse in any website try to see actually what is happening you will get the required content now this should be closed always close your input don't let it open right so you just close it directly over here this one also close this one also close now how to generate actually a uh, a submit button because the user has to click it then it has to submit it right so you just put input type is equal to submit value is equal to send you're going to have this and when this is sent, this button when it's clicked, you will see let's put a page hello.html. So this page doesn't exist actually, but let's say it's going to actually au.html. The page does the processing over there, and method is equal to post. Right? Again, post doesn't travel the data for the URL. Now let's say we have this data over here when you click on send you see uh, because au here is not actually found it will go there where the processing will be done so this is about creating form input type text area select etc now you can add some background to it okay you can add some background to it like beige color is equal to pink that will actually change the color a bit right Right, so that may actually change the color, but we'll later on see uh, how we'll generate it for now. It's beige color, right? Or you just put color. Okay, for now, let it be. We'll take a look about CSS, but normally we don't apply it directly here. Remove this input here, right? So this one also remove it because we have already closed the required tag cell. Right, so this is about creating input, text area, option, creating a submit button. You can create a clear button that we clear it. Let me show you. Actually, you can create a clear here. That is a reset button. So let's say the user has actually created some content uh, on the page. That is, has inputted something, has typed something here, here. When he has actually made an error, he just click on clear to clear the required data. So thanks for watching. This is the whole basic course of HTML that we have seen. And uh, see you for JavaScript and some more tutorial coming along with uh, Java uh, and